doesn't love a kitten? Which is why there's high demand from the public to rehome kittens rather than older cats. You know, let's face it, kittens are unbelievably adorable. You know, those big eyes, those, all that energy. I think the key thing is to still not let the emotion run away with you. Um, you are taking on essentially um, you know, the equivalent of a new human, you know, a new baby in the household. They need feeding four times a day. They need constant supervision. When the kittens first arrive here, many are often too young to survive on their own. Foster carers hand rear the kittens, bottle feeding and burping them. Um, I think she was found in a shed or something at someone's house and her mum wasn't there so she was found and I think her siblings unfortunately didn't make it. When she walks she's very jittery. <laughs> From about April onwards is what we call kitten season. We see an influx in pregnant mums and mums and young kittens coming into us. Um, of course, we manage their stress levels very carefully um, and we'll get them checked over by clinic as quickly as we can um, to ensure that they're fully healthy to be able to go on and give birth to healthy kittens. Kittens spend most of their time in the Cattery Maternity Ward. After being neutered at nine weeks old, they're ready to be rehomed. Here at Battersea, we do rehome kittens to homes with gardens, and that's really based on our experience. Um, much like little human beings, kittens are full of energy. They have this natural desire to run around and play, um, and they also have a natural urge to roam and explore. Next time we go through the cat flap, we're looking at how designer breeds and the rise of online pet sales are affecting the cattery at Battersea.